Hello my Sock Universe. Oh, I should have made this video sooner, but I think I will have just about the time to edit this and get it to you Friday morning, because we have already games on Friday, actually quite one interesting uh, one. There are quite some tasty ties this weekend in the Premier League. I think there are two in Serie A, and I think it's more or less the big games that we'll get to. I'm wearing Chelsea as they're involved in one of the Bigger ones, probably from the outset, one of the most intriguing matches this weekend. But let's start in La Liga, where, yeah, we had the big one uh, yesterday. I'm shooting this on Thursday, but now I think there's not really a huge game this weekend. Eba Granada, nope, nope, nope. I'm looking, Barcelona, Alaves, now Barcelona has the shorter break. Um, yeah, I think that should be a win. <laughs> But you never know which Barcelona show shows up, but that should be an easy win. Uh, I think the most exciting is surely the late game on Sunday, which is Real Madrid against Athletic Club. Um, I think Betis against Atletico Madrid, something uh, there. And maybe Osasuna against Real Sociedad. I think the Sunday games are all a teeny bit better. Let's go to the Premier League. Uh, it starts out with an interesting early one, Everton Arsenal. Um, <laughs> they all have seen better times. West Ham and Liverpool will not play due to Liverpool being at the Club World Cup. More on that a little bit later. Uh, so the chasing pack has chance to make points up and we'll get one huge game between the two chasing teams. And we probably will know now what Leicester City is made of. Manchester City, Leicester City is the late game on Saturday. I think it's... Should have the tag, must watch. I think all the other games are kind of so and so. I actually looking forward to Newcastle against Crystal Palace for some reason. Not sure if they will show exactly that one. And then we have a super intriguing one Sunday, 5.30. Tottenham, Chelsea, uh, Mourinho's two former teams playing against each other. Um, to me, Mourinho is still mostly the Chelsea manager. So uh, that's going to be an interesting one. Both are now neighbors, so we have second against third and fourth against fifth playing uh, this weekend. Actually, the other way around, third against second and fifth against fourth. So, uh, top of the table clashes that could uh, go a long way in deciding who makes the Champions League or whether there is a challenge to Liverpool or not. In the Bundesliga, after the huge one on Tuesday evening between Dortmund and Leipzig, I'm a little bit struggling to finding a good one. I mean, Hoffenheim, Dortmund, yeah, ninth. Against fourth, uh, I buy uh, Wolfsburg three against eight. Could be Schalke Freiburg, probably five against six. That's probably the biggest one. To me, the biggest name matchup, but they're both really bad is Köln against Bremen. But that's a relegation battle uh, now. Bremen has uh, lost not twice in a row by five goals, and Köln has made two really surprising wins against Leverkusen and Frankfurt. So watch out for that one. Hertha Gladbach, I think, is a sleeper. In a way, because Hertha is getting back in shape again. And then I have to say the Sunday game is not all that great. Serie A, let's go directly there. We had already one game of this round. And um, and I think it's due to the Supercoppa being played very soon. So that's why Juve plays earlier. And Lazio's game is postponed until February. Fiorentina-Roma to kick it off on Friday. I think this is a really nice game to watch. Uh, that's one to look forward to. Other than that, not that many great ones, I have to say. And I mean, the... Other than Fiorentina Roma, I think Atalanta Milan. Unfortunately, very early Sunday kickoff. Um, I probably will have to watch this um, a little bit later and try to stay out, out of it. As we even potentially Sunday uh, afternoon, I'm not at home, which is a little bit hurting. But yeah, that could be one that might be worth watching. Uh, I think also Sassuolo Napoli could be an interesting one. And as I said, Lazio Hellas is late. And in France, they play kind of for Christmas all the games at the same time, Saturday evening, 8.45. And I think the first one is already the biggest one, Rennes against Bordeaux. That's fourth against seventh, uh, four points between them. But I think that's definitely an interesting one uh, from name Monaco Lille. But I think I always give Monaco a little bit too much credit. Although they're right now, uh, this could be in the chasing pack in there. PSG is playing Amiens, that could have been, have been a better one, you know. Uh, it's just not Angers a few weeks, three weeks ago, it would, would have been a great one, now it's kind of so-and-so, but you know, it's again so tight in France that you really don't know what to choose. Well, these are the leagues that I look at. Um, it's pretty clear to me, it's two games in Italy and two games in England and one game in Spain. 
that really excite me. So, and fortunately, if I'm not taken away, they're all space in Sarsa Trader. Can, can I watch each one of them? No games in Austria, we're already in winter break. I think in Germany they will have a winter break too. Um, so, yeah, let's go with it. So, again, Friday, Fiorentina Roma. Saturday, we have um, a city, Manchester City against Leicester City. On Sunday we have first Atalanta Milan, then we have uh, a little bit later we have Tottenham Chelsea and then cap it off with Real Madrid Athletic Bilbao. I think sounds like a good plan. Let me know if you will follow for these plans which games you'll be watching. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.